Hello, my name is Ken Mayer, and I'm going to be your instructor during this course on Security Plus. Just to give you a bit of a background of what I do, for the last uh, 20 some years I've been involved in technology of some kind. Through that time I've uh, worked with a lot of vendors, I've had a lot of opportunities to be able to teach and train in, uh, with vendors like Cisco, with Juniper Networks, with Microsoft, with a lot of CompTIA courses, as you're seeing here with the Security Plus. My background comes from a lot of security work because I've worked with uh, a lot of security systems with firewalls, with IPS, IDS, with VPN concentrators, with SSL VPNs. I also do a lot of work in the world of pen testing or hacking, trying to show people the weaknesses in their networks by actually trying to break in and then training them how to break in. It's kind of the best of both worlds because I get to be paid to be a hacker and then I get to get paid to try to defend against the hacker. But I'm going to try to use those experiences to help you with uh, this course on Security Plus to tell you the things that you need to know and the things that uh, will be helpful for you, not only for the exam, but also in the real world of putting security together. Welcome to Security Plus. This is going to be a great course. It's going to give you a lot of good information about security from all points of view. We're going to start by talking about the general security concepts, things like the different types of access control, different methods of authentication, different types of attacks. You're even going to see some examples of real attacks being done. Things like denial of service and buffer overflow attacks. And then we'll get into the different types of malware that you might come across when you're trying to secure your network. Then we get into the domain 2.0 with the communication security where we'll talk about the different types of, uh, of encryption and communications that we can have through our VPNs having radius servers for authentication, SSH, IPsec. And then as we continue on through that, we'll talk about all of the different attacks we could have that can come against all of these uh, secure communications. Some of the vulnerabilities, what a packet sniffer can do. We'll talk about session hijacking. And then we'll get into the uh, web security issues and the email communication security issues. And then we'll end it with our wireless communications. Then in Domain 3.0, we talk about the infrastructure security. Well, we'll have a discussion and talk about the different kinds of firewalls, how routers, switches, wireless access points, and all of those other types of infrastructure items will fit into the overall security. We'll make sure that you understand how the media that you use, whether it's copper or fiber or wireless, can be affected, both in, and how you can both secure it and look for the vulnerabilities. And then we talk about our security topologies. Those things like, what's the DMZ? How do I uh, create my security perimeters? What do VLANs and NAT have to offer for me, both for security and vulnerabilities? Then we'll talk about other types of uh, ways of securing our networks through things like the intrusion detection systems or creating honeypots. And then, of course, we'll talk about ways to secure the actual servers by hardening them. After that, we'll get into uh, application security and ways that you can break into applications and things you should look for, both on a uh, programming side and, of course, on uh, an attack side. Then we get into the encryptions, standards, the protocols, the way that they work. We want to make sure that you understand that we're trying to support three different areas of confidentiality, integrity, and authentication. And we'll talk about the weaknesses that we have, and, of course, we'll also talk about the different ways that it can, that it can occur, things like symmetric encryption, asymmetric, PKI, the rest of that. And then finally, we talk about your operational and organizational security in Domain 5, where we'll talk about things that we haven't mentioned before, like physical security, the issues of social engineering, your actual environment, the way in which you store your, your media, your backup, about having recovery sites or alternate sites being available to you, trying to take precautions against uh, disasters, disaster recovery, business continuity, making sure you have a plan for most of the types of threats that your network could come across. And then we'll have a discussion about what you might need to know in case you ever have to do an investigation that leads to court. So we'll have a, a topic about forensics so you understand what should be done, how you should respond, and some of the things you can do to risk that entire investigation. So all in all, you can see that through this course, we're going to be covering a wide variety of material. And I hope that it sounds like it's encompassing every part of your network, both from the uh, workstation, the software, the applications you run, the servers, and all of the devices in your infrastructure that make it all connect and talk to each other.
Hello and welcome to Module 1. This is the General Security Concepts module and it's going to map up with the CompTIA Security Plus Domain 1.0. During this module we're going to talk about the different types of access control models. You want to be able to recognize and differentiate and explain the differences between the ones that we talk about. Then we'll get into the AAA, the authentication, the access control, and the accountability, and really focus on authentication, the different types of authentication that you'll want to know. Then we'll talk about some of the ways you can harden some of your servers and some of your network uh, devices by getting rid of non-essential services. And then we'll get into some of the parts that are kind of fun, which is the type of attacks and ways in which uh, people will go after your network, go after your servers, go after your workstations. So I'll have a lot of fun talking about so those attacks and doing some demonstrations. And then finally, we'll talk about some of the high-end attacks, some of the malicious code or malware, things that we call viruses, worms, Trojan horses, those types of things. Plus, of course, we'll show you some demonstrations on how those occur and uh, what to look for. All right, let's begin by talking about the goals of what we are looking for with a secure network. And those quite simply are a set of acronyms, or one acronym, CIA. Confidentiality, Integrity, and Availability. Now, when we talk about this uh, CIA, we often refer to it as a triad. If you would imagine whatever asset it is that you're trying to protect, whether it's data on a network, maybe a server, a database uh, that you're trying to uh, keep safe, whatever it is that you consider this asset, we would like to think of the CIA as a triangle that surrounds it on three sides. And if you don't have all of that put together, then your asset is not going to be safe.